Hi guys. So it has been a couple weeks since, maybe not even a couple weeks, maybe it's only been like, well, the last time I was at my mom's, when I was house sitting was like what, the week of the 14th of September, October. Oh my God, I'm like lost on my days. So it's been about two weeks. Um, I'm eating peaches out of the can. <laughs> I love it. Mm. I like to just pop open a can and eat peaches. Sometimes I pour like chili powder. Oh my God. And then whatever I don't finish, I just stick it in the fridge and eat it later. <laughs> um, so I did a video about my spirit attachment. If you guys haven't seen it, scroll down a couple videos and you'll find the video where I got a, um, I had a seance reading with Lexi. Um, and I was pretty much brought up some interesting information about having a spirit attachment. Um, but <laughs> it technically isn't a spirit attachment. It's more so an embodiment of myself, um, that has been pretty much taking over and not allowing the true me to be, if that makes sense. I think it kind of happens, and I'm sure a lot of people can resonate with this if you live double lives, um, where you start to see like your double lives are always separate. And then eventually, usually eventually, not not everybody, but some people, myself for sure, um, living the double life thing is, is cool. It's 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 a great it's a great way to um to separate things, separate people, separate topics and stuff like that. But Sometimes it gets really tiring. Sometimes it gets really, um, really exhausting. <laughs> and I've been living my double life with Cackling Moon um, since 2012. And that's seven years. What was that? Was that Starla? Starla! Oh, yeah, that was Starla. She's over there. You guys can't see. She's over there eating her food. That scared me. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> so anyways, um... So in my spirit attachment video, I'm just going to call it that because that's what I titled it. Um, I, sorry, my nose is runny. <laughs> totally like picked my nose. Sorry guys. Um, so in my spirit attachment video, I mentioned how I am really, 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 really wanting to merge both of my lives. I don't want to live a double life anymore, so to speak, um, to an extent. I want to at least merge my name. Um, so I had a second um, consultation with um, Nancy. I'm involved with the, the Crow Conjuring, if you guys were curious about that. Um, look them up on Instagram, the Crow, the Crow Conjuring. And so I had a consultation with Nancy and we were talking about my reading that I had and what I want to do and what I need to do and the work I need to put into it. And so this is a lot of like, I don't want to call it shadow work because I don't think it's more, I don't think it's shadow work. Um, Nancy called it more of like a past life regression type of a thing, um, which I've never had a past life regression before. I know people who have had it and I've watched videos of people who've had it and it sounds fucking amazing like to be able to tap into a past life and basically what that's what the spirit attachment is it's a version of myself from a past life that has I that I have pretty much invited into my present life like I've I've allowed this version of me from a past life into this present and it's like I'm losing sight of who I really am because I'm I'm living the double life but I tend to favor the persona of myself that I've created the last seven years over who I really am. Does that make sense, you guys? Like, I'm sure, I'm sure some of you guys are like, what the fuck is she talking about? But um, it's basically, I, it's basically like the real me, real me. I'm not ready. I'm not ready to share my name yet. I'm gonna, sh I'm going to share it, just not in this video. I feel like I need to be in a place where I'm really comfortable with it. Um, and I'm still working on that. Um, but basically the real me, I want to love the real me more versus wishing I was Rose. I hope that makes sense. And so that's the work that I'm working on this month, um, all of November. And then I'm hoping by December, 
I'm giving myself literally till the end of this year, 2019, because 2020 is literally another, like we're, it's like the turning point. We're like in another, what do they, what do, they, what do you, what do you call it? A decade? Is that what, is that what you call it? Like the twenties, 2020 is a big deal. Um, the energy of the twos, two is my favorite number. Um, and then my birth date, I'm born in February. It's a two month, right? My, the day of my birth is a 20, it's a two zero month. So it's like my birth date it's for next year, it's gonna be two, like literally two, two zero, two zero, two zero. Like that's freaking phenomenal to me. And it's, and I feel like, I feel like everything just makes sense. Like everything is, it happens for a reason. And you guys know a little bit about my personal life. Like things have been changing this year. Um, a lot of stuff happened in 2019 that allowed me and my husband to finally receive stuff that we've been working so hard for. And so this year has been a huge like receiving of the gifts kind of a year, I feel. <laughs> Um, just receiving answered prayers, like pretty much it's been a year of answered prayers. Um, and I feel like 2020 is going to be the year of really like living full blown in our new version of ourselves. My husband being in his dream job and then me finally being able to let go of a certain part of myself and embrace me. Um, I really, really want to do that, especially because I plan on taking Kathleen Moon full time, you guys. Like, I wrote a post on Instagram yesterday, and if you if you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw it. Um, it was a photo that I reblogged. I reposted at someone else's artwork, and I tagged them. So it was one of those posts. It's a little a little lady with like a moon on her face, a crescent moon. And so, um, go check out the post if you want to. And <clears throat> But basically in that one, I wrote about how I have had it in my mind a lot lately, like literally a lot. It's probably why I have a lot of headaches. I woke up with a bloody nose this morning um, because I've been really thinking and overthinking and overanalyzing. And then it's like it made sense that I pulled the Ten of Swords for today's, um, today's daily message. I totally feel like the Ten of Swords. Let me, let me get the card out so that you guys can see. Those of you who aren't familiar with the tarot. So this is the Ten of Swords. Um, the Ten of Swords is a card of exhaustion. It's a card of feeling backstabbed. It's a card of feeling stressed the fuck out. It's a card of just feeling like your, your demons, your negativities, your, your negative thinking, your stresses are all like, it's like they all overcome you. They overpowered you and it, it's, you had no, you had no fight against it. Um, but the 10 of swords is also about being submissive. Um, it's about surrendering to your fears so it's a turning point kind of a card because it's a 10, it's a number 10. And anytime you see a number 10, it's the end of a cycle, it's the end of a path, it's the end of an experience. And then you start over with an ace card in the tarot or you start over with number one. So it's like, it's a, a new beginning all over again. So the 10 of swords can be quite daunting. It could be a little scary, but at the same time, it's necessary. And I feel like I'm in a 10 of swords moment. Um, with all the stresses that I have <laughs> about my fears. Um, but I'm also reminded that I have to surrender to my fears. Um, I give advice all the time to clients who are on the brink of making a major life change. Some of my clients come to me for readings before they're about to leave a job. Or they come to me for readings before they're about to make a decision when they're at a crossroads in a relationship. And I find myself you know, taking the responsibility to give my clients that advice. And then I realized there's there's stuff in my own life that I need to take my own advice, you know? And that's what's been going on. <laughs> so today I was like, do I wanna do a video revealing my name? Am I ready for that? I don't think I'm ready for it yet. I still, I feel like I still have to do some work. Um, the Crow Conjuring is gonna be doing a past life regression meditation in the end of this month. So I plan on doing that. I plan on doing my own personal meditations about my past lives. I really wanna connect with Rose. Rose is an entity like that I created. It's like, 
It's like I created my own poltergeist, you know? And Rose isn't a negative thing. It's definitely, she's definitely not. But she's a she's an embodiment of me from a past life. And I have to realize that I, I lived that life once before. But now I'm me, you know, <laughs> in this present life. And I need to learn to bring elements of Rose from a past life into who I am now and live my life as me. And that's what I wanna do. So it's not only gonna be a big change for me to do all of this and be more comfortable with utilizing my real name, but it's gonna be a hell of a difference for you guys <laughs> when you guys find out, <clears throat> when I finally come clean with what my real name is and you guys having to go through your transition of calling me by my real name versus Rose. Now, you can totally blend the two names if you want to. You can totally use Rose if you still want to because it's still me. But I, I, when I start doing like, when I'm sending out my emails to clients or when I'm posting on social media or when I'm doing my greetings in my YouTube channel, I'm not gonna use Rose anymore. And so when I start to do that, you guys are gonna see it and then as you guys feel comfortable with that transition, then you could start addressing me by my real name or you could address me by something else or you can just call me Kathleen Boone, I don't care. <laughs> Whatever you guys feel comfortable with but this is for me, I'm doing this for me, not for anyone else. And so the, my transition period is still going through, it's probably gonna take another month or two um, but I definitely by 2020 will be, you will be, I will be revealing <laughs> my real name and my goal is basically because I was telling um, Lexi and Nancy this that my real name feels like a bad word when I say it especially when I'm saying it in terms of tarot and I hate that because it to me it's like a reminder of when I was growing up and how astrology was a bad word or the occult was a bad word, it's evil, it's bad. And it's like, I created a persona, I created Rose, and I made myself feel, I just saw two, two, two. Ah, I love it. <laughs> um, I made myself feel like that about my own name, and that's not cool. So I need to take ownership of my own name, and I need to embrace my own name and not feel like it's a bad word. So um, that's what I'm gonna be doing. And <laughs> yesterday I filmed a video about all about social media and like followers and stuff. And I didn't post it because I was like, it doesn't feel right. I don't think I need to talk about this topic right now. Um, there's other things on my mind. There's other things on my mind and it's like posting a, a, about a topic that's just like, it's not important right now. I'm like, no, I need to be more real with you guys. And so that's my goal. <laughs> my goal is to be more real. Like I wanna be as transparent with you guys as I can, as I am comfortable with. Um, and and I feel like revealing my, my real name will be the most transparent I will ever be. That's pretty much it. Um, and so it's a big deal. <laughs> it's a big deal. So it's my new year's resolution basically. Um, to embrace me, um, it's my New Year's re resolution to be more comfortable with myself, to honor myself, to honor my name, and to get it out of the, it's a bad word, kind of a environment. Because I don't, I don't like that. I don't like feeling that way about my own name. And I created that for myself. It was nobody else, it was me. So that's my, um, that's my little thing that I'm gonna be doing. Um, other than that, Oh, God. Uh, what time is it? 10.30. Okay. <laughs> I have to make sure I keep an eye on the time because I'm like, I got to drive to work today. <laughs> um, other than that, though, like everything else has been good, you guys. I've just been really stressed about my transition of like leaving my day job for the cackling moon. And I'm stressed out about it for different reasons. <clears throat> and it's probably why I woke up this morning with a bloody nose because I was just, I do that to myself. Like, I'm one of those people where I wear, look at my old little, my little old purse. Um, I'm one of those people that I stress to the point where I get myself physically sick um, or I show it like, 
sorry, I'm just gonna like pick my nose real fast. Um, where I, <laughs> I have like a runny nose right here. Hopefully it doesn't start bleeding again. Um, I wear my emotions physically. So like when I'm emotionally upset, I break out in hives. Like I'll get red here. As you can see, it got a little bit red here. I'll break out in hives. I get bloody noses. I get red bloodshot eyes. Like I physically show my emotions and I think that that's my cancer, um, my cancer moon. Like I'm just super sensitive. <laughs> So it's, I'm a mess. I'm scary. I, I get, even my husband, he's like, you get scary when you're emotional. I go, yeah, I know. <laughs> so anyways, um, so I've been really stressed out about that. You guys, I've been really stressed and I've asked, I have like certain friends. I have one friend, she's a mama and she's a, she's a stay at home mom. And I texted her yesterday and I was asking her advice. I'm like, I literally point blank asked her like, do you get lonely? Like, Cause she doesn't, she doesn't work. She's just, she stays at home. She stays at home. She takes care of her kids, which is a job in itself. And, um, so I asked her like, do you get lonely? What do you do to not go crazy? Her situation I can resonate with for a little bit, but she does have kids and I don't have kids. So like she has her kids to keep her busy, you know, but basically the, the biggest advice that she gave me was to have my own hobbies. Um, and which cackling moon is one of my hobbies. It's going to be my full-time job like I'm excited to say that finally um but I want to have other hobbies because I don't want to start to resent cackling moon like I don't want cackling moon to start feeling like a chore and so other hobbies I'm thinking that will include like making my my wreaths those are so fun for me to make like they're so cheesy but they're so fun like I don't stress when I'm doing them I'm so like my mind is so open <laughs> and so Making my wreaths will be one hobby. Um, gardening will probably be another, like to an extent, like not major gardening, but maybe like taking care of some plants in little pots. <laughs> because I don't do getting dirty. I don't get dirty. I don't like that. Ugh. Um, but <laughs> but maybe gardening, or I want to really get into herb magic, like witchcraft, but more of like herbs and utilizing herbs. <laughs> Utilizing herbs for um, medicinal um, medicinal reasons or like making up my little herb remedies and stuff like that. Like I really want to dive into it because um, that also came up in my seance reading that Rose was a big healer. She was a big healer in her time and um, there's Rose was different elements in, in past lives. And so Rose was a nun in one past life, which I actually had visions of that in a meditation before. I've always been drawn to Ireland and then I had a reading done by someone else. This wasn't by Lexi, but someone else did a reading and they said, I'm seeing a nun, in, like an Irish Catholic nun. And um, they were like, they were like, you, you had like a past life, you were very strict. And I was like, so when Lexi read about me <laughs> having a nun around me, I was like, holy shit, that makes so much sense. And then there was like the other Rose version, like in another past life, Rose was a major bruja, like a major witch. And um, and I feel like I get those elements from me, you know, from past life me's. And so in this present life, the herb stuff really, really, really interests me and I really wanna learn more about the herbs. I wanna make my own like little candles, my own herb thingies. <laughs> like just do all this fun, fun stuff that I can't do right now because I'm so busy with like going to work and commuting to work and stuff like like three or four days out of my week is just, I just focus on work. Every once in a while I can throw in a video like this in the morning if I have extra time. But for the most part, it's just like, I don't do anything TCM related on my work days. And when I don't have to go to work anymore, like when I don't have to do that anymore, I can do all of this stuff full time throughout my week. So, I'm excited about it when I think about it, but the things that I'm scared about is, um, I'm scared about the fact that I've always worked. I've been working since I was 15 years old. I'm 33 now. And so I've always had a job. <laughs> I've always made my own money. I've always had my own paycheck. So when I don't do that anymore, yeah, cackling moon money will be my own, but it's not like I'm gonna have a steady paycheck every two weeks anymore. Um, and, and it's basically like, I'm going to be living off of my husband's, the money my husband makes. Am I going to be comfortable using my husband's money? Um, you know, 
Right now, it's like I could go out there and buy whatever I want because it's like, okay, that's part of my paycheck. But how am I going to feel when it's like I'm not bringing in money like I used to? Am I, is it going to bother me, you know? So I'll still have money coming in with Cackling Moon, but it's not going to be anything like what, I, what I'm making right now. So that's one thing that I'm nervous about. I'm also nervous about my social life <laughs> going downhill. <laughs> um, a lot of my social time, a lot of my social life, my, my fun times talking with people is at work. Um, I don't have a lot of friends. A lot of my friends live far away. They live up north um, or they're online, you know? <laughs> so I don't have like a lot of friends' friends. And so I'm scared that I'll get lonely. I think loneliness is a fear because my husband, he's gonna be working a lot, you know? The days that he's home will be amazing because then I'll be home with him. But he does work a lot, you know? His schedule is very demanding and it will continue to be very demanding the further he, you know, he goes. So it's just a lot to think about. Um, and then I, we live up here. So a lot of my, all my family and everything is down there towards LA area. And we're up here in the desert. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm like sitting on this little stool. And my ass is like too big for it. So it hurts after a while. <laughs> Um, and so, you know, we're up here in the desert and it's just like, I need to make friends is what it is, but, but I'm not going to let those reasons keep me from doing something that I've wanted to do for so long. Like I can't, I can't even tell you how many years it's been that I've been like wanting this moment to be able to take Cackling Moon full time because my husband's in a position where he can be financially providing for both of us. Like where my, my little part-time paychecks aren't going to be completely used up towards rent or anything, you know, like we're in a comfortable place now and it's, I'm very grateful, thankful and blessed for it. It wasn't easy to get here. You know, it took us a while, but, um, it's nice to know that that's an option now. And it's kind of funny to me that now that it's an option, why am I so afraid of taking it? So it's not going to happen soon, soon, but it's going to happen. <laughs> um, so I have just a lot of stuff on my mind that I have to clear out and just like make peace with. My husband has to complete his training and all that to make him feel steady and ready to, you know. So once all that's done, I'm going to be gone, you know, I'm going to do my thing. And you guys will see more of me and my channel will probably grow 10 times the size that it is. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh my God, my butt hurts. Um, my channel will probably grow because, um, because I have to stand up because my ass hurts now. My channel will probably go grow because I'm going to be able to post more on it. You know, um, my website, I want to blog more. I want to do stuff. So Cackling Moon is going to grow and it's going to be me. I'm gonna do it for my own name, you know? So I'm excited. I think I needed to do this video because it was like, it's therapy for me to talk out loud, like express what I'm feeling and now I feel a little bit better about it. <laughs> so thanks you guys. Thank you for your support and for watching my videos and for being my friend and being, you know, part of this journey. It's, it's nice, so anyways, it's um, 10.40. I'm gonna go change. I don't have any pants on right now, so I gotta go change and um, get ready for work and head out. So, and my hubby, he's gonna be, he gets off work at four today, so he'll be home. So when I get home from work, he'll be here. So I'm excited for that. It's so nice. It's so nice to have him home again. <laughs> so anyways, um, I will talk to you guys later. Um, if you have any questions about anything I talked about, leave them below and I will talk to you guys soon. Have a good day. Bye guys.